and welcome to a new episode of In Your Face. I'm Latch and I got a new mic and that's awesome because now I can see. So in my last episode, I tell you why clean code is important. But I didn't really tell you how to clean code, so that's what I'm going to do today. I'm gonna give you 10 more advice on how to clean code. So here it is. Bubble! He's happy. First, let's focus on functions. So let's take the same example from the last episode. Uh, you want to check if an enemy collides with your hero. Here's a very simple hero class, it only has two functions. Uh, if it's colliding with an enemy, it print ouch. So a function should do one thing and one thing only, and this is very important. In this case, the second function doesn't do that, because it tells you if the hero is colliding with an enemy, but uh, it also takes care of its life. The name of the function should be is colliding with enemies and doesn't take care of its own business. And here's a little trick. If your function's name has an AND or an OR, it probably makes two things. This is a side effect. It's something the function doesn't say it's doing. And that can be very dangerous. So here's a new way to do the same thing. One function to check the damage, and one to check collisions. So I know this function looks really stupid. I mean, why should I write a function that only has one or two lines of codes? Well, straight from the book, the first rule of function is that they should be small. The second rule of function is that they should be smaller than that. And I love this guy. I was really skeptic about this when I first started clean code, but I realized that it's a good way to separate your task. Remember my first advice? A function should do one thing and one thing only. Keeping your function small will help you do that. And also, from my experience, small functions doesn't stay small forever. Let's say for example we add some traps and we add some grenades in the game. Since we already separated our task, it gets really simple to add code. Next, function arguments. Okay, so now that we have three functions that does pretty much the same thing, let's make a function with an argument. Now, of course, pick meaningful names for your argument. Here I got lists, but uh, list of what? I can do better than that. How about this? That's a little better. By the way, notice that my variable here is just O. It doesn't mean anything on its own. But I don't want to choose game object for it as well. Otherwise, the only thing I'll see is game object, game object, game object. Nah, screw that. I prefer O. Because since it's already looping through game objects, I know that O means a game object. After all, when you're making a for loop, you don't put index of list everywhere, like index of list, index of list plus plus, index of nah, screw that. You put I. So to me, O is fine in this context. The best number of argument is zero. One and two are okay. Three, you can do better than that. Why? Because if you need three arguments or more, the function probably does more than one thing. And what was the first rule again? The function should do one thing, and one thing only. Next, avoid flag arguments. Just a reminder, a flag argument tells the function to do something if true, and something else if false. So it loudly says that the function do two things. Okay, here's an example. This is something I often see in my code. Just, just take a minute. True what? I mean, I'm, I'm clearly asking the hero to shoot truly? I mean, what the fuck? What if I put false? Am I asking shoot but uh, not really, alright? <laughs> you mean like this? <laughs> so then I go check the function and I see is grenade. Ah, that's a flag argument. So instead of having a function doing two behaviors, just make two functions. Okay, next advice, don't pass null. Let's suppose we have a function called it enemies with and we pass a weapon. Now let's suppose our hero has a special power that hit everybody on the screen. So my power is not a weapon, so I'll just pass null. And since my function can break now, I'll just add a default case at the beginning of the function. Voila! No! This is just ugly, just don't pass null. The best way here will be to create a specific class just for that special skill. But sometimes, instead of having like a bazillion of specific class, I just create a null class. An empty class that I can use for all those specific cases. But yeah, the point is, get rid of that. Now that we don't pass null, we should not receive null as well. 
Why does this function return no? It doesn't have to, it can return an empty list instead. So if you return a list with zero elements, you can get rid of all those little bastards. And voila, our function is way more clean now, and it does exactly the same thing as before. First make it work, and then clean. Don't try to write clean code right away. I know I can't. My code is very ugly when I start. I mean, functions names are just stupid, there's a lot of arguments, and functions are like way big. I focus on making things work first and then I clean. Think of it like a writer. Any, any good writer out there knows that rewriting is, is important. They first write down the story, all their thoughts and ideas, and then they clean it up. Writing software is indifferent. Finally, code is never clean enough. If you find a good name for a function, for example, and then a month later you come back and find a better name for it, well, change it. Most IDE out there allows you to refactor your code. Don't be shy to use it. Rename your stuff if you find better names. Keep in mind, code is never clean enough. So you have it. 10 advice on how to clean code. But oh, 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 what's this? Bonus advice! Yay! Ready for my last advice? People don't give a shit about clean code. Yeah! What? That's right. And Santa Claus doesn't exist. And your mom doesn't love you. Seriously though, people don't play code, they play games. If the code is hardly as hell, but the game is great, you win anyway. Nobody will care. You can be proud of your code, you can write the cleanest masterpiece of a code, but nobody will give a shit. But, you clean code for yourself and for the rest of your team. You clean because you care. You want to make your next game easier to create. You clean because even if everybody doesn't give a shit about your code, you do. You clean because even if it sounds stupid, you see writing code as a form of art. And you clean because you want to be a better coder. <laughs>for watching this episode of Indie Your Face. As usual, you can subscribe to my YouTube or ask me anything on Facebook and Twitter or on my website. Uh, keep asking me questions, guys. I love it. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye.